Hello, I'm Bradley Sward, Assistant Professor of Computer Information Systems at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this video today will discuss signed integer storage sizes, basically the minimum and maximum values that a given number of binary bits can represent. There's one big thing to remember here, and, and it doesn't matter how many bits of storage we're using, the number of possible combinations of those number of bits, number of switches, will never change. So in this case, going back to the unsigned integer storage sizes video as well, like for 8 bits of storage, there's 256 different combinations of ways those switches can be on and off. And like, what does it matter is how we interpret those results, those switches and those orders, when we look at that first most significant bit to see if it's a 0 or a 1, to see if it's a positive or a negative number, that's when we take a look and we, we kind of shift our focus from, oh, this was always a positive unsigned number, to now we have to shift that thing over and incorporate the negative value. So in this case, for 8 bits of storage, if this were unsigned, going back to the previous video, the possible values would be a minimum of 0, which for all switches off, all the way up to 255, or 2 to the 8th power minus 1, for all switches being on. But here I have to tell you, oh, this is a signed number, so we're going to treat this much differently. So we're going to take those 256 values from 0 to 255. We're basically going to take a line, cut it right in half, and shift everything over so that middle point is right there at the 0. And from there, looking at the chart here, negative 128 is the smallest 8-bit signed value, which is negative 2 to the 7th power. And then the highest value is positive 127, or 2 to the 7th minus 1. And you ask, why is there a slight discrepancy? And it just comes from the fact that the 0 value has to be somewhere right in the middle. And because of that, I can't have an equal number on one side of 0 and on the other. 0 is a positive number, if you want to think of it that way. So there are actually 128 negative values and 128 positive values listed in this representation. We will definitely cover this in a future lecture, but looking at the values that, these, this, that this number can hold from negative 128 to positive 127, for any value in that range, mathematically speaking, from pure mathematics, I better be able to say, hey, take a number in that range and turn it negative. So take 19 and make it negative 19. I better be able to do that, mathematically speaking, in binary, otherwise my math is completely off and I can't use that, especially on a computer where things are just going to go wrong really quickly. But it does work, if you look at the range here, everything works out except for one magic number which is staring straight at you. And in this case, and it's always going to be the same no matter how many bits you use, it's going to be the, the smallest number that can be represented is the value that you can't negate. Because negative 128, as we'll see later, we try to go negative, negative 128. Like, well, that's positive 128. Like, that's not in the range. So what happens? What is the math? What happens? All we know is we won't get the correct result. And for every number system, every size storage that we use, that one value will not work correctly, but everything else will. So we have to understand that there's that fringe case that we have to maintain and worry about. Just like the unsigned integer storage size lecture, you'll start to see a pattern here. So looking at word sizes, so if we're dealing with signed words, 16 bits of storage, the number will start to grow, of course, because there's more switches, which means more possible combinations of numbers that can be stored. So here, the smallest, you know, the lowest value for a signed 16-bit word is negative 32,768, or negative 2 to the 15th power or the highest value is positive 32,767, which is 2 to the 15th power minus 1. Same rules apply to everything I spoke about in byte mode. It's just more switches and more possibilities for larger numbers, and we'll see that in the future ones here in a second too. Exactly the same for double words here, sign double words. It's just, of course, more switches. So in this case, there's 32 bits of total storage. So the smallest value that we can see here is negative 2 to the 31st power, or negative 2.147 billion. And then on the other end, it's positive 2.147 billion, or 2 to the 31st power 
minus 1. The final true data type that we care about in this course, the quad word, 64 bits of storage. As, as you can see here, a signed quad word is negative 9 quintillion, I think that's the word for it, and all the way up to positive 9 quintillion. And of course that means it's negative 2 to the 63rd power to positive 2 to the 63rd power minus 1. So did you see the pattern as we were progressing from 8 bits to 16 and all the way up to 64? So this, your turn, will take a look to see that you did. So what I'd like you to do here is take a look and try to figure out what is the smallest and largest values that could be stored in a signed 20-bit binary integer. So the true formulas are as such. So for n number of binary bits, the smallest values, the lowest value that can be stored in those number of bits, is negative 2 to the n minus 1 power. So that's 20 bits minus 1 is 19, so that's how I get negative 2 to the 19th power, or in this case negative 524,288. And on the other end, for the largest number, for n number of bits, the formula ends up being 2 to the n minus 1 power minus 1. So just notice that, you know, ex exactly how I explained it, the order of operations work out there. So in this case, 2 to the 19th power minus 1, or positive 524,287. And this formula works for any number of bits from 1 to probably infinity. So this video is the same but different than the one we did for unsigned integer storage sizes. Because as you know, it's for n number of bits, the same number of combinations work out. It's just a matter of, am I looking at this from an unsigned standpoint or a signed standpoint? We shift the goalposts over for what's the smallest and what's the largest for that possible number of bits. And on an exam or on a homework assignment, you have to be told this. There's no way you could really figure it out otherwise. So there you go. There you have it. This video is complete. As always, any questions, get a hold of me one way or another. Email me, find me in my office, do something, get that question answered. Thanks for sticking through, and we'll see you next time.